So for like the past week, I've been um, here at uh, my mother's place and um, yeah, helping out with, um, she's building a new website for her, uh, her community. And um, it's actually really cool. So I was helping out by writing some code for it. And uh, yeah, if you want to see the code here real quick. As I mentioned, I'm currently at my mother's house. And, um, you know, it's not an entirely terrible place to be. Um, you know, endless coffee, toilets that not only flush themselves, but wash and dry your behind. Um, super, super comfortable bed. But yeah, I've been here for like a week now. And most of the time it's been uh, you know, cold and raining or very cloudy. And today is one of the nicer days in the past week. It's actually really warm, probably uh, about 80 degrees right now. It's super nice. I'm really, really looking forward to get back on the road. Now, basically, I'm trying to decide where to go next. Um, I was thinking I would drive south through Oregon towards Bend, through central Oregon, and go to Bend. And, and go around that area. Uh, but several people recently have said, oh, well, you absolutely have to go up to the Olympic National Park, which is up in Washington. So um, I'm thinking serious about heading up there. Uh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, so we'll see. Uh, basically, yeah, just enjoying endless coffee and an incredible red wine, endless wine, uh, incredible food. My mother is like the best cook ever. I should have been like videotaping all this great food I've been eating. It's like a major faux pas on my part. Seriously. All right, so I'm still up at uh, my parents and um, it's really been torturous. It's- Chicken, uh, look at the chicken. It's terrible and Today we're being forced to eat outside with all the critters. The ambience is yes. deficient. What critters? And well, there might be bugs anywhere. They might come here anywhere. You know the bugs didn't show up yes. at Burning Man. They're on their way here. These eat our chicken if they don't hurry. So, this is my parents. Say hello. 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 And this chicken. is this Say hello, is chicken. This is dinner. <laughs> This morning we have to go to the grocery store and get stuff for a soiree. This is my mother. Say hello. Soiree. Yes. Hello. So, yeah, we're going to a soiree this afternoon. How do you debone a duck foot? Very, very carefully. I get 10 quail eggs for two bucks. And, uh, and when I go to the, you know, like Whole Foods, if they have them, mm -hmm. or zoo pans, if they have them, they cost me usually anywhere between five and $10 for a little package of quail eggs. There's so much good stuff here. Delicious stuff. Look at tasty mushrooms. This is a ramen aisle. I love ramen. Ramen is tasty. Okay, so what's in the basket? My mother's shopping baskets are always the most interesting. <laughs> so, I did something totally stupid and okay. left my trailer plugged in. Um, and now my battery's dead. So sure. leaving my trailer plugged in for an entire week was a terrible idea, a big mistake. So I'm driving around just trying to get my battery charged up a little bit right now. Guess what? Pumpkin spice lattes are back already. It's early, but 
they're back. And this is the first one of this season. Almost Merry Christmas, almost autumn. Not quite autumn. Yay. Sour cream and I don't have any until I threw that out. You gotta ex explain how to make the proper boiled egg. You turn it on, put, it in, put the eggs in cold water, mm -hmm. turn the burner on, get it up to boil, turn it off, put a lid on, let it set for 10, 15 minutes, and you have perfectly boiled eggs without any of that green part or looking icky. Mm -hmm. They look really nice. They're perfect. And here we have perfect quail eggs. Almost. All right, you have to tell what you're doing. I'm peeling quail eggs. So how do you peel a quail egg? Start at the big end of the egg. See, there's the little end, there's the big end. And you kind of get, the quail eggs actually peel a lot easier than regular eggs. So you just kind of get it going. And sometimes you can just take it and peel a big sloth off, <laughs> although they're not very big anyway, so. But rarely do I have one that breaks up like regular eggs do all the time. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, that looks good. Now we need some salt, pepper, and cayenne. Time to taste. A little taste. Mmm. Perfect. You can even see the shot of the yolk. So it sits flat. And take the top off. Presentation is very important, right, Mom? Yes. Yes. Ooh, I'm taking up too much room here. Presentation is everything. Well, no, taste is everything. And presentation is almost everything, not quite. Yeah, what do, what do we do first? We, uh, we eat with our eyes. All right, so we're going to give it a try. Ready? Now, what is this? These are papadou peppers stuffed with borson um, pepper cheese. It's delicious together. They really are really nice. Okay, this one looks ugly. Let's put this one. You now. So, in addition to making super awesome quail um, deviled eggs, at the same time, she's making like three other things that have to do with peaches. My mother is truly one of the most awesome cooks. She's really awesome. This is watermelon gazpacho. That's excellent. It's watermelon with some cucumber and 
Stuff. Stuff. Delicious stuff. So, the grounds here are really beautiful. So, she's incorporated these, uh, these sandstoned like cliffs here into our architecture. They're really nice if you see. Tonight is soiree, number two, soiree. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, very good. But you know the, uh... wait. Oh. It's, it's, it's looking at you, it's looking at you. Hi. <laughs> cheers, everyone. Oh, cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> This is the awesome hummus that we made today. Yeah, it is awesome. It is very good. It is. What delicious. do you think? I want the recipe just because olive oil, what else? Do you ever need taken out there all the time? I know where it is, so it's kind of it's not difficult to find, but it's not everything. He's very talented, but he's kind of pricey. That's the only bad thing is that he knows what he's eating. Drizzle, it looks yeah. like you have some. That's a, um, uh, yeah, actually, that is cilantro oil. Ooh, wow. Yeah. So, wow. So, this is corn and avocado roasted soup. Roasted corn and avocado soup. Roasted corn and avocado soup. And it was fresh corn. Mm. Oh, if I said, if you have any requests, let us know. We'll put it on the playlist. Oh, because it's outside? Yeah. Oh, cute. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay, you guys, this is homemade jello with uh, fresh fruit and. Uh, Lemon verbena, which is a curry, if you've never heard it, so I like oh, it. No. And it's great mm -hmm. dessert. And it's so they, it's in both the jello and the uh, mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. These are some of the one most wonderful people in Lacma Shores who are sharing a table with tonight. This is like probably the best soiree of the week. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Hello, San Francisco. Yeah, we feel the same way. The best we feel the same way about that. Yes. <laughs>